you need to download your SketchUp file or export, save it from whatever you're in, what version you're in. Open up Twinmotion. Uh, you can set navigation mode. I leave it to Twinmotion. There are some tutorials, but uh, very basic. Uh, so you can skip that. Uh, now import your SketchUp file. And go to wherever you saved your SketchUp file. And there's some options there, but normally I just leave these uh, as they are. And the model will come in. So you may need to find it so you can uh, look around. So uh, I'm just using the WASD keys here as we're in twin motion mode to look around. Uh, and you can sort of start to figure out what views you would like to have. Um, and think about the background. So we're going to set the background. You can change a picture. Um, I'm just going to leave it uh, as none. But it's worth exploring some. Keeping it simple and focused on the, your design is good. You have options to change where you are in the world, the weather, vegetation, and add ocean, um, which may be useful for some of you. We're going to add entourage. So we go up to the top left hand corner and going to add some trees to start with. So there's a number of pieces. So I'm just going to select a tree. So let's have a look and see which ones I like. Just a simple tree. Here we go. I'm just going to pull that in, drag it in. And I can push more, but I'm just going to push escape to stop adding anymore. And move around. I want to add some materials now. So go back up to the little button, go up to material library. I'm going to add concrete. So find the concrete. You can see sort of uh, the different ones. So you click and drag over. And by default, it sort of does the whole model. So we can just sort of get a quick idea if you want to have one main material over the whole model. So you can see sort of how different each material type and the effect that has. So here we can select and then uh, top right hand corner we can click on the little arrow and it gives us the, the overarching. So if we've signed, uh, named the components it becomes very easy to find those individual elements. Uh, if we want to add to just an object we can uh, change in the middle there's this two circles down to one circle and then we can just add a material to individual elements. So I'm going to try another uh, piece. So here it's really important to uh, not use tacky materials. Sometimes you may think it, it's what you want but keeping it simple and to the point is, is really useful. Uh, so I recommend just keeping it uh, um, as plain but reflecting a material type as possible. So just to have a play. So here just picking a darker concrete. Um, and here I want to apply some ground. It's sort of it's worth just again having a look. This texture doesn't look overly great um, but depending on what effect you want uh, and how you've built your model that may work um, better. I just again want a, a plain texture for what I'm doing. It's also important to note and keep your material sources and the amount of entourage to a minimum because the more you have the longer it's going to take to render. So here we can change the time of day so you can sort of adjust those. So and just go in and find uh, a view. So here we've got one and I'm going to just change the time of day to get uh, the effect that I want. Remember using the, the morning light or the evening light, depending on how you've designed to get the different effects. So now we're going to um, create an image. So click on the Create Image button, and it saves what you've viewed. And there's a whole lot of, uh, let's create a name. So if we give it a name, it becomes easier to find. Go to camera settings, you can set the output size. At this stage, I think full HD is fine, um, but we might want a, a bigger one later on. You can adjust some of the different settings. 
but there's the resolution is full HD so uh, we can adjust the time just in that image which is quite useful so if we create another image now so we're going to sort of go around and find a different view that we like we'll create a, add another one and you'd normally name it and we're going to change the time of day on this one to a different time of day so you can see the different effects during the day so you can sort of just play and figure out what works best for that view so here I think a brighter uh, time of day may work better for this one and you should name that image as well so now to export images and you add them to the list so we've got two there's obviously other options there uh, we don't need any of those and then just click start export so depending on how powerful your graphics card on your computer will dictate how long it takes to render so we've got one image there and then the